Two. Where have the kills taken me? And what have the kills taken me from? I don't know, it's taken me to really amazing places and feeling really amazing about doing art and stuff again. But I think definitely my paranoia level has raised and I think definitely stress. I don't know where the kills are taken me from. It's from a really small apartment room with no money and no food. Not that much of a social life and not really know what I'm doing. And playing with broken four tracks and eight tracks and trying to get some kind of thing together. Where it's taken me from, I guess, is maybe a lack of that feeling like kind of always doing the same sort of stuff, always doing art and music and everything, but not really in the situation that I wanted to protect, always trying to run away from the situation and the people and trying to find, you know, exactly what I found, I think. The Kills has just been my life for a long time now and I really haven't done anything else other than that. It's just every little thing, whether I'm just on my own in a hotel room doing some artwork or something, it's always a huge part of it is put into the kills, it's always for that. So I guess it's taken me into this world where there isn't really much else. My, my whole life is about talking about the kills or reflecting on the kills or doing music for the kills or thinking about the next kind of music I'm doing for the kills and honestly it kind of drives you mad in a, in a lot of ways. But. I wouldn't want to go back to my apartment with no money and no food and no reason for being. Officer, because I got busted. What we're gonna do? It's gonna be 115 dollars. 
I'm gonna take you up here to the jail. You can post bond in there. They'll write you out a